Well, this past week, hog producers from across the nation, including quite a few from right here in this region, were down in Kansas City for the National Pork Industries Forum. And one of those in attendance this year was John Rouser from Tustin, Montana, who said a big issue up for discussion this year without question was African swine fever. Yes, African swine fever is probably the most prevalent right now. I, a year ago, we were working on a, a vaccine bank for foot and mouth disease. Uh, we got that pushed through Congress, so we're working on that. Uh, but African swine fever, probably the most prevalent right at the present. Um, and just making sure that we get uh, our export market uh, back in place, you know, with the trade agreements that have been um, uh, negotiated through. Um, we're just you know, got to make sure that we get uh, pork to the countries that we need it to. And certainly the industry has done exactly that with U.S. pork exports actually posting some new volume and value records in 2019, reaching nearly $7 billion. And in case you're wondering, Mexico remains the number one destination for that high quality and delicious U.S. pork. Stay with us, we'll have more Ag News right after this. To enroll grasslands in the Conservation Reserve Program, Grasslands Sign Up, which begins on March 16th and runs through May the 15th. Now through CRP Grasslands, participants actually retain the right to conduct common grazing practices, such as haying, mowing, or even harvesting seed from the enrolled land. Timing, though, of some activities may be restricted by primary nesting season of the different birds in those grasslands. Now, participants, they say, will receive an annual rental payment like normal CRP and may also receive up to 50% cost share for establishing approved conservation practices. Now, the duration of the CRP contract is either 10 or 15 years. And for more information or to enroll in CRP grasslands, you're invited to contact your local FSA county office, or you can also visit the Farm Service Agency's website. And finally today, it looks like the House of Representatives has passed the Broadband Deployment Accuracy and Technological Availability Act, or Senate Bill 1822. The legislation, which was approved by the U.S. Senate last year, now heads to President Trump for his signature. Now, the Data Act requires broadband providers to report more specific data to create a significantly more accurate and granular national broadband map. With more precise data, federal agencies can target funding to those areas that need it the most. The American Farm Bureau Federation's president, Zippy Duval, says reliable access to broadband is no longer a luxury but a necessity for farmers and ranchers and of course their rural communities and this piece of legislation certainly helps to ensure resources are in fact targeted to those areas that need it the most so without question this new legislation is also some very good news for those of us out here in montana and wyoming that does it from the ag desk have a great day